all righty love bugs it's a great day honey buns take your love vitamin boop, boop. let's take a look and see <laughs> let's take a look and see what the weekend is gonna look like it's the weekend baby yeah i don't know i'm going to the bar boop, boop. I said that. Oh my god! I got to get it in before Sunday, y'all, because you know Sunday that's that fast. <laughs> and then plus me and my dog be doing a light change starting in October, so yeah, yeah. This probably me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me get serious. Let me see what's going on this weekend. Yeah, what y'all got going on, honey? What's going on? What's going on, honey? Yeah. Oh God. So, dragons, slay them all. Somebody here you're afraid to slay, you're afraid to get out. Um, there could be something different about a person. Um, they could have something going on with their leg. This could also be someone. Uh, I just want to use the word different. Now, I hear the other word, deformity. but they're different somebody here you're being challenging whatever your difference is get your butt out stop letting things handicap you no matter what it is get your butt out the house okay so the number six here and then the number nine you don't need someone else to fix you someone here is waiting on a person to fix them okay so this could be about y'all or about someone that you know all right one more call Yeah, do it for you. Somebody he got to get away from this evil person. Sundress, do it for you. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Somebody, yeah, I see. Oh my God, who the hell is this? You got to get out, love bug. Somebody here, you is. I don't know. This weekend, somebody may try to get away from an evil queen. That's what the spirit is even telling you. Get away. Get out. Live. It's almost like a person has been handicapped or something is handicapping a person. Now, those of y'all dealing in, you know, situationships, relationships, there's a person that, you know, they're so afraid. They don't have the confidence. It's something about being beat up on the inside. All right, let's keep going. What's taking place this weekend? What's taking place this weekend? Hey, the chariot card. I hear that song, You See Me Rolling. All right, so somebody here rolling. Somebody got some got some plans now. Somebody coming towards y'all crying. Um, it could be a person that whoever they live with or whoever they are around and or associated with. This person right here, it's like a person here is around somebody that's that that has a bad energy about themselves, a bad spirit. So somebody here is coming towards you to tell you about this person that kind of holds them back, makes them feel some sort of way. Um, this person is getting tired, has gone tired. Um. Somebody here could also have like skin pigmentation issues or something like that. But yeah, this is going to be somebody who's going to reach out to you because they want to get out. They want to get away. I hear a waste. It's like somebody wants to run the hell away from somebody though. What is this? Yep, they got that song, Whitney Houston, I Want to Run to You, The Five of Cups, because they said they're depressed. Whoever they, <clears throat> oh God, excuse me, whoever they live with depresses them, makes them sad. Now, this could be someone here that a person picks on them, nags them, um, or just really gets under their skin. So, this weekend, somebody is getting the hell away from whoever this queen, excuse me, whoever this evil queen is. Because the evil queen gives them bitterness. The evil queen gives them salt, not sugar. So, they're getting away from somebody. So, this weekend right here, a person may, you, you, you may find out that a person is not as happy. Like, yeah, man. Yes, sis. Yo, bro. You know, I'm tired of this. I'm just not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I'm bored. This person may ride around in their car driving. You know, somebody here drives relentlessly. They hate going home. Somebody dreads going home. They're so depressed. This person wants to get out. It could be them getting out, getting a drink, you know, getting a little tipsy. Um, meet me at the bar. Hell, I'll go with you. Anyway, um, they, they just want to get out, let their hair down. But it's something now. If it's not a person at home, 
they are fighting the spirit of depression, the spirit of oppression. Now, on the flip side, this could be a person that needs to get around somebody because they're struggling with some sort of um, old addiction like alcoholism um drug abuse or something like that and their thing is they're feeling triggered because something or someone is triggering them to go in a different direction they could uh something about this person looks different than what people are considered to look normal it could be skin it could be legs it could be arm it could be eye it could be hair it could be their hands um, it could be nails for some of you all, but there's something different. Somebody here feels like they live around or they live with a witch. Period. This person ain't happy at home. Hold on a minute. Let's be nosy. See what the hell going on. What, what's going on in this house? What's going on in this four one? What's going on behind these closed walls? Behind these closed doors? What's going on? Child. So they small talk a person or, or a person small talks them. Yep. A concentration camp. They feel like they in a damn concentration camp. The Eight of Swords here. They feel like that. That's abuse. The Holocaust. That's abuse. Yeah, this person. Okay, y'all. This person coming to vent to y'all this weekend. You may think they're an introvert, but in actuality, they're not. It's like a person is hell hostage. Um, it's like a person is saying, "Don't you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't do that." Now, if this is a young person. This younger person is like ready to live. It's like a person is realizing life is passing them by. I'm getting older. I hear somebody said, "I'm almost thirty. I don't do anything." Somebody is tired of, of living to the standards and the likes of somebody else. Somebody else's opinion became facts in their life and it's worn this person out and this is going to be the weekend like a person is going to blow and this could be like word vomit um or diarrhea at the mouth but all the things they tell you really shock you they could be driving around they could be driving and crying some of you are this person gonna be crying but this person shorts taught them you it, it, and you know how you i'm trying to figure out how to say this they get short talk at home or hush it's like a person can't speak. I know how the cage bird sings, the eight of swords. This person is in like some sort of jail, prison, concentration camp. See this man is blindfold on here. He's blind. He can't see. Somebody here, something, it's something about that they're tired of living a dark life, tired of living a life of being withdrawn. Somebody here is really depressed. It's gonna shock you. What else going on in this house? Or this, or this home? This Mm -hmm. The Ten of Pentacles, their reputation, the Two of Cups. Child, it's going to be some juicy ass confessing here. So this is, you're going to find out a, that somebody is around somebody because of their reputation. It's like I tolerate this because of the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's my reputation. Um, But see, it, in, in this Ten of Pentacles, it's like two purple snakes in his hand. And then the death card. A person is thinking about ending this in regardless of what it's going to do to the reputation. Um, this could also be something very simple where a person is living with, you know, like a roommate or a parent and they're just ready to get out. Because something feels like a force. It feels like a power. It feels like they are controlled. It feels like they're being possessed by a spirit, by a demon, or by a person that tries to control them. And they're ready to break away and break camp. I told you. The five of cups because they are severely depressed. Somebody just struggles with depression. I mean, like exceptionally bad. It's because of who they are around. Now let's see this person. Let's say this person lives by themselves and it's just them. This is someone here. They got inner issues emotionally, and they are going to confess that how much they really are sad. Mm, I heard something heavy. Hold on a minute. Um. This person doesn't feel alive. Mm -mm. Nope. They don't feel alive. And they, they don't they don't feel life. Mm-hmm. They stress, they're stressed, they're work. This is gonna be some major confession, honey. A person is gonna lay it all on your plate or they want to. It's a lot they've been covering up. And yeah. 
it's like, man, I'm just so stressed. You just don't understand. Somebody's life is not as well put together as you think or thought. Or someone here is definitely not as happy as you think or thought. And this is a person that is it's not about them having financial troubles. It's not necessarily about cheating. But it's an inner issue. But for somebody here, whoever they live with, they, they live with a person that's possessed, demonic for some of you all, a Debbie Downer. A person that always puts them down, that makes them feel inadequate, that takes their small flaws and run with it. Somebody almost feel bullied. This is also a person that feels like someone could be trying to dictate their home from their home. So like, because there's a single person here, they don't live with nobody. But it's whoever that's talking to them. It's like, it's like some, somebody you don't feel good enough. Closes out. They don't. They don't feel good enough. They don't feel valid. They, fat, they don't feel valid. They feel invalid. Ain't child. What the heck? I told you. See here. Now somebody here is fighting. The five of wands, the ace of cups, and the two of wands. Now guess what else? There's gonna be an argument this weekend that a person is going to intentionally cause. To get out of the house because they want to go. Somebody here is want, wanting to go around somebody else. But their plans is to get away from another individual. <laughs> They're intentionally causing this argument. So this could be a, a person that's coming towards you that live with somebody. Whether it's relationship or not. They're gonna per, they, they are specifically causing this argument because they're, it's like they're just sick of a person. They can't stand them. They cannot stand the sight of this individual. Somebody here almost growls, growls like, Ugh, when this person comes around. You know, when you're walking by a person's house that has a dog and the dog will growl at you, this person does this under their voice. Damn, they talking. Whoever, somebody here live together though. Live together or live around. Now, Lord, forgive me, y'all, but I got to tell you, see this moon card? Somebody tied their mama. <laughs> the moon card shows it's a mother. So if they live with their mom, they're tired of it. They're tired of what she's saying. Somebody may have like a controlling um dictatorship type mom. If if they live with her, if they don't, if like let's say they're in their own house, it could be the mother trying to run their house from, from the mother's household. Yeah, somebody just wanna get the hell away. All right, what's to do it for you? They feel yeah, this king of wands, honey. Somebody, this king of wands is sad. But this person might have pulled a lick. The King of Wands, the Magician card, the Three of um Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Somebody's trying to call y'all. Now they could be trying to call you from like a different phone number, or you could be screening a phone call or have on block or something like that. But they've been trying to call you, text you, because they want to get out. See, you you are their way of escape or the person they vent to. Y'all must have been beefing as well or not talking or something like that. But this somebody here who want to tell you everything that's going on or what they've been going through. I hear that song. I can't remember the words. Um, Somebody here has gotten into a bad roommate situation. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Look at there. The Ace of Swords. They didn't got their ass into a bad situation living with someone. And it's like when they live with, when they moved in, things change drastically. This could also be someone here that you may find out is living from their car, living from pillar, pillar to post because they're not happy. This person feels like something is on them. Child, let's be nosy one more time. Hold on a minute. What's the magician card in the show? What's the magician card? It's the wrong deck. What do we need to know about the magician? Somehow, I, I, Whitney Houston, I want to run to you. Yep. The Queen of Swords, nasty. This Queen of Pentacles here, male or female. They're tired of this person's tongue. The swords show us the tongue. Somebody here has a lethal tongue. What they say and how they say it. Um... The um the justice card. Oh, the three of cups. Now somebody here it could be a situation to where they're gonna have to take somebody to court either to evict them or it could be to get their name off of a lease. 
Um, something here is dealing with a living situation and arrangement. It could also be a, among family members here with the three of cups, family members and or friends. See, somebody's trying to hold your person hostage. This could be somebody coming to it, coming to you all for advice, but this, this is gonna be some word vomit here. They're trying to cause a fight with this person. If it's a, if it's a relationship, they're trying to cause a fight with them to get out of the house. Because this person right here is this person, somebody here has gotten on you on your person's nerve, honey. Damn. Child, look at here. The night of sports, they're coming fast as hell. <sighs> they talk real nice. Can I please spend the night? This is somebody who may offer you a few dollars. Because, yep, they stressed. The ten of wands. Somebody here got a family issue. They could have moved family in or moved in with some family. Yeah. And then it's just been... it's Something went downhill after they did it. And they're like, nah, I ain't going to be able to do this. I thought I was going to be able to make it. I'm not going to be able to make it. I hear somebody saying, I got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, because they, they, they don't see eye to eye with someone. They don't have the same core values of living, of life, morals. You know, it could be housekeeping, how to keep how to keep up the house, cooking, cleaning. There could be a component to where something is not fair, something is not balanced. It's like it's, it's telling, you know, I've been trying to be fair. I do my part. This person is always short. They make it hard. Somebody here is going to really... Really, really, really pour their heart out, or they want to. There's somebody, some of y'all know, with the night, with, excuse me, with the um judgment card. Um, this could be a phone call that comes to also, also a person that wants to reconnect with you to just simply call you. I mean, like you know, reconnect to call you and talk to you and to get away. Ooh. Yeah, somebody also could feel that somebody like goes to their stuff. When they're not there, they feel something here. I hear because I hear that word violation. They feel violated. Hold on a minute. Let's be knows. Let's see what they're being violated on. What is that? What they're being violated on? Mm. The Ten of Pentacles. It could be their reputation. It could be their money. Somebody don't pay bills fairly. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yep, this person, damn, y'all, this person is depressed, depressed. The five of cups then came up three damn times. This person regrets doing something. But this, this is pretending to live with someone or letting someone live with them or something like that. And they, they want out. This person wants out, out. See them? The eight of cups. Now, some of y'all be careful because they could be coming and ask you to, you know, can they stay with you? Because they're tired of being watched. Somebody here is micromanaged. They're tired of being micromanaged. This is also a grown person, no matter their age. They feel like that, you know, they're treated as a as a um young adult or a child. A grown person is ready to like be on their own, have their own space. Grown certain grown people cannot live together. Because it's almost like grown people are trying to tell grown people what to do. The observation card, gamble, take a dice, feathers, um, messages. And smoke. You try this, this, I saw SOS. SOS. They ass want to get the hell up out of there. If this is if this is a third party situation, whoever they live with, this is a living situation. They don't want to live there no more at all. And decision. There's a decision they have to make. And this could be a simple conversation, you know, man. Let me just tell you what's going on. All right, love bugs. Let's see. You got Scorpio, Pisces, um, Taurus. Capricorn and Virgo. I ver yeah, that's Virgo over there. Like, I don't know why this dick right here drew. Caught my eye. But let's see. We really need to know here from this dick. Yep, success and love. So some of y'all, this is a love interest that wants to vent to you, wants to run to you. See here, a ch the word um a, a change. This person is ready to make a change. But once in their life, it's going to feel real good. They start with the man or the woman in the mirror. This is a person that's really building up their confidence to say, I got to get the hell up out of here. Because somebody who don't have peace, they don't have privacy, and something has an imbalanced component to it. Look at there. There's a meeting. This person meet wants to meet with you. There's a meeting in the latest room. 